Hello everybody, welcome to Drivers Masterclass Part 3. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to drive an object with a property. So I'm just going to select on this light and this camera. I'm going to go to Object, Delete. I'm going to select on this cube and go to Move. I'm just going to move it off to the side. I'm going to go to Add, Armature, Single Bone. So to add a property, I'm going to flip to Pose Mode. And then I'm going to select on this control here. And this panel under here, I'm going to come to the Bone option. And there's a drop down here called Custom Properties. Now every hierarchy of an object has this. So the object location has custom properties. Uh, the rig itself has custom properties. Today we're just going to look at the Bone Tabs Custom Properties, and that's where I tend to use it most. So under Custom Properties, I'm going to click on Add, and you'll get this prop with one as the input here. If I click on this Edit, I get this panel right here, and you can move this around, um, and you can change the features in here. But one thing to note, if I change this property name to New, and I just click out of here, it will not update that property. Let me do that again. So instead of property name, I'm just going to put new. You have to actually click OK. If you click outside of here, it'll cancel your inputs. So my property value is 1 right now, and the default value is 1. My minimum is 0, and my maximum is 1. I'm just going to click OK for now. I'm going to click on the cube. I'm going to hit N to bring up this panel. I'm going to right click on the X rotation and I'm going to click on Add Driver. I'm going to ignore this panel for now and just move my mouse outside of it and it'll disappear. I'm going to bring my timeline up. This panel here, I'm going to flip to Drivers. I'm going to click on X Euler Rotation. I'm going to hit N to bring up this panel. I'm going to go to Drivers. We're going to use something new today. We're going to use a scripted expression. Under the expression itself, I'm just going to type in var. So I want to add that property as an input, and I can't do it through a translate variable. And what I mean by that is if I click this little drop down right here, I have single property, transform channel, rotational difference, and distance. I want this to be a single property. So when I click that, it only has one input option here. So I'm going to add my armature, and now it's asking for a path, which is actual script, and that comes from the Python API within Blender. So you can actually enter this in manually if you want. You can type in bone.property uh, and actually type in the Python code for it, but there's an easier way. If I click back on the armature and make sure you're in pose mode, this new property down here has this one value. If you right click on that, you have an option called Copy Data Path. Now I can click on that and nothing has changed in my viewport or in Blender. But when I click back on this cube, under Path, if I do Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste, it'll input the path, the Python path for that property. Now if I hit Enter, that path is now driving that rotation. So if I click on this controller again, and I slide that one value, I'm actually driving the rotation of that cube. So now that I have this property made, I can change these inputs. I can click Edit, and from 1 at max, I'll change it to 1,000. And I'll click OK. Now I can drive this over that one value and pretty much drive this rotation forever. One great thing you can do is you can also key this value. So if I right click and insert a keyframe, and over here I'm just going to flip back to a timeline. I'm just going to scrub ahead to frame 100. And now here under new, I'm going to type in 1000. I'm going to right click, insert keyframe. Now if I play this animation, that property is driving the rotation of that cube. 
anyway, that's all for this week. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to create a simple switch with a driver and a property in Blender. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.